Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. This time we are going to talk about a composing software. We want to compose augmented reality scenery. Okay? I'm going to use a composing software which is called Vuforia Studio. Vuforia Studio is from a company called PTC and well during our education in my school we use it. So we are using now PTC Vuforia Studio. It's an application, we have to install it on our computer, there's a web installer. Uh, you just have to call this web installer. It will download something also from the internet, so it's a pretty small program, which is connecting then to the internet and will download the latest version of, of uh, Vuforia Studio. Okay. You see, it takes a while, it's 220 megabyte, so we will install it. Okay. Until this is downloading, a sh uh, some short words, yeah, how this is working. Yeah. So, let's, let me tell you, this Vuforia Studio. Yeah. So there is an application called Vuforia Studio. And later you will see it's a pretty small window. Yeah? This small window, this is just, you know, producing a web server on your PC. Yeah. So this Vuforia Studio is producing a web server on your PC and you have to access this web server. The whole functionality of Vuforia Studio you can access via web browser. Yeah. The only supported web browser currently by Vuforia is Google Chrome. Yeah. Web browser. And the web browser will be the interface to the Vuforia Studio. Yeah? So this will, oh, this is handling everything, of course. Yeah, but however, this is the user interface to the program. The program does not come with a own user interface. Yeah? So this here is producing a web server. This is a too thick pencil. I wanted to grab this. Yeah? Here we have a web server and this is the user interface. Since the web server is hosted at your local machine, yeah, uh, there is address yeah, and this, this address is localhost. Double point and now the, the double point always oh, the colon. Yeah. No, that I always say double point. It's a colon, colon, colon. Yeah? Colon, uh, the port number 3000. Yeah? This is the address of the web page yeah? generated by the Vuforia Studio. If we enter, if Vuforia Studio is running on our PC, yeah, I can enter the this in the address line yeah, and I will have access to Vuforia Studio. Like said, the only supported web browser is Chrome. Okay, The only supported web browser is Chrome. Yeah. This is how this looks like. And everything together, yeah, all those stuff, This is located on our local machine, local PC, here, in my case, down here. Huh? Now I just realized it is ready, huh? it is ready, and let's switch again 
This is how it looks like. This is Wafora Studio. See? Handy little, handy little uh, window. Okay? Now, if I press open button, it would launch my standard browser. Yeah? Since I do not use, I do not want to use Google Chrome as my standard browser. Yeah. Don't ask me why. I think I simply don't like it. Yeah. I, I do not want to use my standard browser, so I simply open Google Chrome. Yeah. Here we have Google Chrome. Yeah, ask me a standard face link. Yeah. Want to use it as standard? No, I don't want to use it as standard. Yeah. And here I'm going to enter now this web address, this local host. Column. Haha. <laughs> 3000. Back. Here I got now the interface to my Vuforia Studio. Yeah. Yes, I accept the license. Yeah. Here we have to say, no, thank you. I'm going to configure Visual, uh, Virtual Studio manually. Yeah. If you have a BTC account or something like this, you can use this. Yeah? In school, we're going, we have our own environment. Yeah? We, are, we tell, no, thank you. I am configuring this manually. Yeah? In the real world, you would have a PTC account and you have to enter your username and password here so that everything is configured according to your, to your uh, PTC account. No, I'm going to configure this manually. And here we see now it's a user interface. This window here, I simply don't use. I can put it down. Yeah? This here yeah, is now the user interface of Euphoria Studio. See, there are already some projects. Yeah? However, projects in Euphoria, they are not called projects. They are called experiences. Yeah? Project, everybody can do. Can do. Experience, Euphoria can do. <laughs> okay, it's a fancy name. It's a project. Huh? And it's even written if you hover over it, project open. Okay? So this is the user interface of Euphoria, open in a web browser. Huh? How is this now, now working? Yeah? How is this now bringing all those all those projects and experiences, they're also on my local PC. They're also on my local, local machine. Yeah? So there is nothing up to now going outside. Yeah? And how the hell, I'm allowed to say this, how the heck, <laughs> how the heck is this going to be here on my handheld device or on my HoloLens or something like this? We can handle those devices with Muforia. Well, let's switch back to, to the desk. This is on a local machine. Okay. Somewhere in the internet, yeah, somewhere, somewhere, yeah, there's the so-called experience server. Mm, sounds interesting, right? Experience server. This is somewhere on the accessible network. Yeah? If you're done composing your augmented reality experience project here on the local PC, you can press publish yeah? and those things you have done here will be published at the experience server. And this is actually the thing which we are going, which we need to do manually, this configuration of the experience server and so on. If you entered your PTC account, this is already done for you. Yeah? So this experience is then published to the experience server. Yeah? This is located in the internet. And somewhere else, I do have my handheld devices. Yeah? I do have my handheld devices, so I do have my mobile phone. Yeah. I do have a tablet, I do have a mobile phone. I do have my 
3D goggles, yeah. Different brands, maybe, yeah. So these are the devices I want to use to play this Bufora experience. Yeah. Here there is a special app. Yeah. It is also called Wuforia. Yeah. You can download it on Google Play Store and so on. Yeah. So there is a special app. It's called Wuforia View. Yeah. I just thought maybe I should show you, but I will show you later. Yeah. Wuforia View. And this app is able to understand this experience. So we are also need we also need to, to download or to, to contact the experience server, load the corresponding experience to our handheld device, to our AR system simply, yeah? and then boom, started started to work. Yeah? This is how Vuforia is working. Yeah? Composing software, viewing software, connection point, experience server in between. Yeah? Address of the experience server. Well, like I said, if you have a BTC account, it is already there. Yeah? In school, we are going to configure this manually. I will not mention it here, of course, yeah? because I'd... I've heard there are a number of people who can watch videos in the internet. Yeah? <laughs> and this is, this is done for, for our school. Yeah? resources of our school for our pupils if you want come yeah make hot tails and burton <laughs> yeah this is this is how this is working uh you know next time we're going to talk about uh we're going to to already produce experience First experience. We'll do our first experience next time. Huh? That's it. Huh? Now that we know how it is working, I can say thank you very much for listening and goodbye. <laughs>